Hi, Mana here. I just want to show you how I made this inspirational accordion fold book. It's, it's very easy to make. I, I made it using a manila folder. I cut the manila folder to five and a half inches. And I put index cards, Ardana index cards on the inside. And an index card is five inches by three inches. So I took my manila folder and I scored from the middle. I kept it folded like this. From the middle, I scored over three and one fourth inches. I did that all the way across the whole folder. And then it, I just scored and folded it up. That's how I got my accordion book. I'm going to show you my book now. Just take this little tab to undo the closure, which I made with a piece of my hand spun yarn. And I'll open it up for you and show you. It's a great way to display your art on an index card or your ACTs or tags, whatever you make. This is the front. I'll turn it around and show you the back. Very, very pretty. I'm gonna use it as a birthday card. I have a little artist friend that has a birthday in September and I'm gonna give it to her. My first index card has the word dream on it. I put dictionary paper on an index card. Then I stenciled it with a butterfly. Here's a butterfly stencil I used. And I added a bit of a remnant from a tag that I had made and didn't like, but I kept it. And I cut up the tag to use in my in my book and this is all I have left of the tag now and I'm going to save these bits to use in a future project. I also had a little metal key that I secured to my index card with Baker's twine. I thought it would stay on there better with Baker's twine and in the back the manila folder I brushed it with Distress ink. Tim Holtz Distress ink. The next page in my book, my next index card says Courage. I painted this with lavender mist paint, craft paint. Then I stenciled hearts, stars, and a swirl on it with this stencil from Plaid. And I embellished it with a metal compass, little metal compass embe embellishment. My next card says shine. For this index card, I used a piece of drop paper. I never used to use drop paper. I would just make my art on, on my mat and then clean my mat when I was finished. Until I started watching Sigrid Soto and Eileen McGinnis and the beautiful things they did with drop papers. Now I use and keep my drop papers. This piece of drop paper I thought was so very pretty I didn't want to cover it but I knew I had to use a piece of the tag because I wanted to use a tag on every page so that it would each page would complement the other sort of. On my next page, I used the word believe. I did this on one of my jelly prints. I stenciled the background with some letters and the hearts I painted yellow. And I used this heart stencil. And I just used a little 
makeup sponge to apply my paint through my stencil. On the other side, for this page I chose the word empowered and I painted the background with this copper colored dauber paint and I stenciled a fleur de lis on there using this stencil again and another piece of the tag. And I also, in the background, used distress ink all around the edges. For this card, I chose the word adventure. Ah. And I, I painted this index card with lavender mist. I put a piece of map on there because my word was adventure and also a piece of my tag. For this card, again I used another jelly print and I chose the word happiness. I punched out a couple of butterflies with a butterfly punch from another one of my jelly prints. I added a bit of the tag and a green button that I secured with my baker's twine and then used the word happiness. For my last page, I used the word lovable. I painted my index card with this golden yellow paint. I put a strip of washi tape right here, this washi tape, and I put a piece of the, the tag that I had cut up right here. I put this heart embellishment on the top and the word lovable. I think it turned out very, very cute. I think it's going to make a very nice birthday card. <clears throat> Excuse me. For the front and back cover, I didn't know what I was going to do to cover the front and back cover and make it coordinate with everything. I thought about using scrapbook paper. I thought about just painting it. Then I went was going through my ephemera and I found a couple of more drop sheets. So the front cover, I used this drop sheet on both sides of the front cover. And on the back cover, I also used a drop sheet for the front and back of the drop cover. To close it, you just wrap the cord around, put your little expire tag in there, and you have a very, very cute little inspirational accordion fold book. Thanks for watching.